Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're discussing whether dried kibble is responsible for bad health in dogs. Hi, my name is Annika and this is Kiyoshi. She's an astounding 12 years of age and she looks really healthy, doesn't she? But that wasn't the case back in 2011, 2012, when I almost lost her to inflammatory bowel disease, which I believe was caused by feeding her a dry processed commercial dog food product. 10 years ago, I fed my dogs on dry kibble, as this is what many of the old school vets suggested. I would notice my dogs often gasping for water afterwards, eating a lot of grass, coughing as they ate, as well as looking bored and uninspired by their food. Imagine you eating dried shredded wheat for the rest of your life and nothing else. One day in addition, I purchased a packet of teeth cleaning chews for all four of my dogs from a well-known dog food company and gave one to them every evening as a go-to-bed treat. Almost immediately, all four started to have runny stools, but Kiyoshi reacted the worse out of them all and went downhill fast. Inflammatory bowel disease in dogs, IBD, is a syndrome caused by a specific reaction to chronic irritation of the intestinal tract. IBD can cause recurrent or chronic vomiting or diarrhoea and result in the dog losing his or her appetite. During periods of vomiting or diarrhoea, the dog may lose weight. Some dogs suffer far more than others. So what causes IBD? The cause of IBD is poorly understood. In fact, it appears there are several causes. Whatever the cause, the end result is that the lining of the intestine is invaded by inflammatory cells. An allergic type response then occurs within the intestinal tract. This inflammation interferes with the ability to digest and absorb nutrients. In most instances, an exact underlying cause cannot be identified. However, one possible cause is a reaction to a specific protein in their diet. One theory for this is that most commercial dry food companies overuse specific proteins, such as chicken, over and over again. Many dogs can develop intolerances for proteins due to simply overeating the same thing all the time. Kyoshi dropped from a really healthy 26 kilograms down to a skeletal 12 kilograms. She would refuse almost every single food that I would give her, even though once upon a time she had a really ravenous appetite. She would have projectile diarrhea and vomiting all the way through the day and all the way through the night. And I would sit there crying, just watching her curled up in a little ball of pain. She was snappy, she was aggressive, she was really, really unhappy. I was referred to a vet school in London where they suggested that I feed Kiyoshi soya kibble. But for a dog that had absolutely no appetite, soya kibble really did not interest her whatsoever. So that's when I decided to go online and research what other people were feeding their dogs with the similar condition. I found that many people online had switched to a raw dog food diet with almost immediate positive results. Diarrhea disappearing, intolerances being calmed and dogs regaining their strength and health. It made sense. Dogs are wolves. There is nothing different about their intestines and digestive system than that of a wild wolf. The only difference is 30,000 years of character evolution. A dog is basically a wolf that we have tamed in personality and character, but physiologically is still a carnivore. Agreed that dogs and wolves will eat berries and any types of scraps of food left around, but any animal will do this when they're starving. It doesn't make them an omnivore. One other very important fact that I read was the use of unique proteins to help remove intolerances. This means feeding your dog a protein that their body hasn't had before, such as duck, rabbit, venison and others. 
these proteins are harder to find. So I was at my wits end and honest to God thought I was going to lose Kyoshi. So I decided to go against my vet's advice and feed her raw. Now, she really, really enjoyed the raw food and she ate it straight away. And the amazing thing was within two days, all the sickness, all the vomiting and all the diarrhea had started to stop. And over the next few months, she put on her weight back to her previous 26 kilograms. I was able to take her off steroids, which had softened her teeth, nails and stopped her fur growth. Her fur grew back and she stopped snapping at my other dogs. I immediately switched the whole pack onto raw and never looked back. My dogs now rarely see the vet for an ailment and then it's for something other than a disease. My dogs rarely have diarrhea and they are totally in love with their food. It's my personal belief that raw food put Kiyoshi into remission from her IBD. And even though the vet told me she would suffer with IBD throughout her life, she hasn't once suffered with it in the last 10 years since she's been eating raw. At the end of the day, it's up to you what you feed your dog. But imagine if you were in their place and you had to wake up every single day just to eat dried, shredded wheat without any water or milk or anything for the rest of your life. Pretty boring, huh? Or worse still, eating the dried, overcooked, leftovers from the floor of an abattoir, fur, hooves, bone, ash, everything all mashed together. It's not very appetizing, is it? I know I wouldn't want to. So ditch the dry and go raw. Your dog will love you for it.